Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys more than 30 tips and tricks that will help you get better speed, better performance, more storage, better battery life and better network speed on your iOS 14 device. Starting things off with the speed. Now, of course, there are a lot of things that you can turn off that will help your iPhone have better speed, of course, better CPU performance. Now, of course, there are a lot of things that you might have turned on, but you don't actually use on daily basis. One of them is screen time. Now, everything that works always in the background, that will take CPU power and, of course, will make your iPhone run slower. So if you don't use screen time, make sure you have it off. Also, by going to accessibility, you can go ahead and go to motion and enable reduce motion. Now, what this does, it will just disable all the unnecessary animations on your iPhone. And that, of course, will make it work really faster. Now, by going to display and text size, you can also enable reduce transparency. This is especially on older devices. You can enable this option and it will make your iPhone run faster by removing all the transparency features, which actually are not usable, but they look cool. Another thing with iOS 14, take a look at the widgets that you have on home screen. Of course, we love the feature. All of us have like a ton of different widgets installed, third party app widgets and the stock widgets. And of course we want to have them on home screen, but they will consume battery as well as CPU power. So make sure you manage those and just keep the ones that you need. Now actually currently on my iPhone 11 Pro, I just keep this one right here, the battery and none else. So make sure you go ahead and just manage your widgets, see whichever you need and leave it on the home screen. The other ones go ahead and remove them. Of course, you need speed while browsing on your iPhone. So if you use Safari to browse, make sure you always go ahead and clear the website data and of course the history and all that. So you go to settings, clear history and website data, and you can go ahead and clear them from there. Now, if you don't want to clear the history, you just want to remove the data from the website. You can go ahead and just go to advanced right here and then go to website data and you will see a list of all the websites that are storing data on your iPhone and you can go ahead and remove them directly from here. Now, to improve the speed, of course, you can also clear the RAM memory. Now, the easiest way to clear RAM memory on iOS 14 and iOS 13 as well is using the camera app. Now, this is a real trick that it actually works. I've done a dedicated video on this. So all you have to do is just launch the camera app, wait for it to open and then go ahead and simply close it. And just like that, you will clear the RAM memory of your iPhone. To have your iPhone running faster and of course perform better, you need to always make sure you have turned off services that you don't use or you're not actually using at the moment or you won't be using for a longer time. So make sure you have those disabled. Now, one of them can be location services. Now, you might not need location services all the time. So you can keep it off if you don't need it. You can do it, of course, from the settings here or if you all want to keep it on, go ahead and take a look at the apps that are using your location services services and make sure to turn off those that you don't need. Under settings here, what's important is that you go to general and also make sure you disable background app refresh for, of course, apps that you don't need. Then you have automatic downloads. Now, if you're doing like a task, like maybe even playing a game or something on your iPhone and you have automatically apps downloading and updates, downloading and installing in the background, that will, of course, affect the performance of your iPhone. And to have like better performance overall and better speed on your iPhone, you need to make sure that you have more free storage. So go ahead and go to general, go to iPhone storage and take a look here at the apps that are taking more space on your device and go ahead and delete those. Of course, clear storage, always make sure that you have like maybe like 10 gigs of free storage in order for your iPhone to work better. And always make sure you have your apps updated to the latest version. Now apps tend to have bugs and stuff like that, especially now with the iOS 14 that has recently been released. So make sure you always have your apps updated at the latest version. And also don't close apps that you use frequently. Now all of us maybe not all of us, but most of us will just clear the apps from the background all the time. I do it all the time, but it's not good. You will have to keep the apps running in the background here in order for them to be ready to launch and not to have to relaunch every time you want to open them. As I mentioned before, one of the best things that you can do on your iPhone to make it run faster and of course 
have better performance is to have more free storage. Now to do that, what you need to do is just follow a few simple tricks. First of all, go to settings, go to camera and go to formats and right here, choose high efficiency. This will make photos smaller in size. Of course, most of us have the most space on our iPhones used by photos. So make sure you go ahead and choose high efficiency. Another thing that I do is on the videos, I don't shoot in 4K. All the videos, 99% of the time that I shoot my on my iPhone, I will watch them right here on the iPhone. So it doesn't have a 4K screen. Why would I need to shoot on 4K if I'm going to watch them right here? That will take a ton of space. So you can see right here, if you're shooting at 1080p at 60 frames per second, it will take like 90 megabytes right here for a minute and then if you're shooting on 4k that will take like 400 megabytes so that's more than four times the space on a minute of video so make sure you go ahead and choose here the right setting in order to make more free space on your iphone another thing that you can do is upload unused apps so you can do that by going to the app store settings right here and enable upload unused apps now what it does is your iphone will take a look at the apps those apps that you are not using it will remove them from your device it will still keep their data so once you want to install them, you need them. It, you will have all the files right there. So that's really, really cool. A very, very useful feature. Another thing is, of course, clearing always the Safari data, the website data. Make sure you clear them. And on the podcasts, make sure that you don't have podcast episodes downloaded to your device. So go ahead, go to general, go to iPhone storage and just find here podcast. So let's just search the new feature of iOS 14 really cool here so let's search for podcasts you might have like different episodes that have automatically downloaded so make sure you go ahead check right here if it's covering a ton of storage make sure that you check it out it might have episodes downloaded so go to the settings of podcast and make sure you go to download episodes and keep this off now let's move on to the battery life. There are a few simple things that you can do in order to get better battery life on iOS 14. Now first of them is going to display and brightness and make sure you use dark mode as much as you can. Keep it at automatic or set a custom schedule or just manually enable it and it will basically consume less battery. Of course, on devices with an OLED display, all the black pixels are just like pixels that are turned off that way of course it will preserve a ton of battery also always make sure you go ahead and use auto brightness go to accessibility go to display and text size make sure you have auto brightness turned on this will keep your device the brightness will be lower of course on environments that are darker that will be automatic that will keep your device running better on battery life because it will adjust the brightness based on how much you need if you just keep it on manually it probably will be high all the time that way it will drain the battery also under accessibility make sure you have a few things here turned off you will have voice control if you don't use it make sure you have it turned off the new sound recognition feature of ios 14 make sure you have that off as as well of course if you're not using it and then always make sure that you manage your notifications go ahead and go to your notifications go to each of the apps and make sure you manage them for apps that you'd like don't need notifications make sure you turn them off because they consume a ton of battery always of course make sure you go ahead and use optimized battery charging so go to battery go to battery health always optimized battery charging this will be better on the long run for your iphone and another thing right here under accessibility go to accessibility find siri here and make sure you disable always listen for hey siri now what this feature will do is that it will keep your iphone always listen for siri hey siri if of course if your iphone is facing down or it's in your pocket it will still be listening for the command so that of course will take a ton of battery so make sure you have that turned off and now we're talking about the network how to get better signal and also preserve the data on your iphone First of all, make sure you go ahead and go to settings, go to seller and enable low data mode. Now, what this does is that it makes apps consume way less data when you're connected to the seller data. Of course, if you have a limited plan, this will be very, very useful. So make sure you go ahead and enable this. Now, right here under the seller settings, you will also see a list of all the apps that are using the data on your iPhone and you will see how much they are using. So if you have apps that you don't want to consume your data, you can go ahead and disable them. 
from here right here you will also see system services and you will see all the different system services that are consuming the data on your iphone so make sure you go ahead and check that out as well another thing if you have like low signal always make sure that you turn on the airplane mode that will keep your battery last lasting longer because if you're on an area where the network signal is not that good that will consume a ton of battery and of course always make sure you have your iphone updated to the latest software if you're having like problems with your connectivity your cellular data or even wi-fi make sure that you always have your device updated at the latest ios version so that's it for this video guys these are more than 30 tricks that will help you improve the speed performance storage battery life and network performance on your iphone running ios 14. i hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one